The odious deputy of the State Duma of the Russian Federation, the well-known imperialist Yevgeny Fedorov, who likes to threaten the West with nuclear strikes, became sad because of the Kursk operation of the armed forces of Ukraine. He pounced with accusations on the military and propaganda who lie about the imminent liberation of Russian territories. Fedorov emphasized that the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region has not been stopped. The Ukrainian armed forces are seriously advancing in this section of the front, including towards the Kursk nuclear power plant. He called on the propaganda to stop lying to the population that the Ukrainians are about to be thrown back. If you pay attention, there is no mention of any three days of throwing NATO troops out of the Kursk region. Well, we see it. The governor announces that another 10 villages have been evacuated. Listen, if there is no offensive, why evacuate the villages? Kuchatov is closed. It is closed by a special separate decision. A special siege regime is introduced there. What does this mean? That the fighting is moving towards Kuchatov? Well, that's clear. This means that sabotage and reconnaissance groups are expected in the city of Kuchatov at the very least. This means that enemy troops are moving seriously and effectively enough for this kind of possibility of enemy ground armed units infiltrating through our combat formations to appear. It's a joke when we are told what official propaganda told us two weeks after the invasion of the Kursk region. This is evidence that the enemy is dying. This is his last spurt from the grave. This is ridiculous. Tens of millions of people have been loaded with this approach. Fedorov complained. Recall UN Nuclear Agency Chief Rafael Grossi said after visiting Russia's Kursk nuclear power plant that there was a risk of a nuclear accident and the situation was serious. The danger or possibility of a nuclear accident has emerged near here, Grossi told reporters, referring to the fact that fighting is taking place in the surrounding Kursk region. Grossi told that the plant was extremely fragile because it had no protective dome. A fire at the Kavkaz oil and petroleum storage facility just outside Proltarsk, a town in Russia's Rostov Oblast, was finally extinguished on September 2, the state-run media outlet TASS said, citing emergency services. After the Russians carried out a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the Russian Federation has repeatedly complained about strikes on various objects that help the aggressor state carry out aggression against Ukrainians. In particular, on August 18, as a result of a drone attack in Proltarsk, a fire broke out at an oil depot, and it could not be extinguished. On the 23rd, the facility was attacked again by drones. The enemies were able to extinguish the fire in Proltarsk only in early September. The administration of the Proltarsk district reported that the area of the fire was 10,000 square meters, injuring dozens of firefighters and destroying dozens of the site's 74 fuel tanks. The fire has been extinguished, an emergency source told the TASS news agency, adding that firefighters remained on site to monitor for potential flare-ups due to strong winds. Despite this, he notes, fire crews did not leave the scene of the incident, continuing to monitor in case the fire resumed. The calculations are in place now, today they are still looking, let's say, just in case, because there is a strong wind, said the source. This oil depot was one of three oil depots managed by Russia's federal agency for state reserves hit by Ukrainian drones last month. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky praised the strikes, calling them part of the effort to bring a just end to the conflict. Since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion in 2022, Kiev has repeatedly targeted Russian oil and gas facilities, describing the attacks as fair retaliation for Russia's strikes on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Proltarsk is located some 230 kilometers southeast of the regional capital of Rostov-on-Don and 340 kilometers from the border with the Russian-occupied part of Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast.